What's going on? You may remember my last video. I was in the bathroom doing a mini bathroom review. This week's video is going to be about me changing my compost toilet. A lot of you may know that I have a separate compost toilet. It is perfect for me. I, I really, really like it a lot. I have not experienced the nature's head toilet, but I have heard horror stories, just to be honest with you. And right now I don't have it within my means to compost my waste. So I don't have land and I don't have a compost bucket or anything like that. I live in a campground and pretty much I have to dispose of it a certain way. I can't put it in the ground. I can't, you know, keep a compost bag or bucket outside my house. Right now, something like a nature's head is not doable for me, as well as I have restrictions with my arms, so I can't really lift a big old toilet into a bag, and I don't want to waste my time cleaning all that out and stuff. I want to show you just how easy it is to change a composting toilet bag from a separate composting toilet. Just to let you know, I may speak a little open. I'm a very open person, but um, you're not going to see any gross stuff or anything. I did the best I could to cover all that up. You're just going to see me change the, the composting toilet and just see how easy it is. I'll also explain a couple of things on the composting toilet, so in case you're in the market for a separate, you know what you're getting into. Mm, let's get started. This is going to be crazy. First things first, this is the separate. It is a composting toilet, but a lot of people would argue that the waste that is in this toilet that it doesn't compost. It does compost. It starts the composting process in the compostable bags that they give you at separate.com. However, since I'm not really composting it, I keep my bag in there for a whole month. If you are using the compost toilet bags, which are they start composting in three weeks, you would have to change it every th three weeks. And they cost more, so I decided to just do regular bags. I was doing white garbage bags, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do a black garbage bag so that when I lift it out, you cannot see any of the waste on the outside of the bag. For those of you who are earth friendly, you may see a few wasted paper towels in this video, but that is for um, the purpose of the squeamish. I don't want to gross anybody out, but I do want people to know about this toilet. They send you a bunch of this stuff, and then you can actually put it upwards if you want. My builder just decided to do it right there, which is fine, I guess. I've noticed that this does not have a switch to turn on the fan because the fan, which is the top one, is always on. And I'll show you that when I open the toilet. The older version has a switch right here that you can turn on high or low to have that fan run, but I like to have my fan running all the time, so there was no button that came with it. It's just plugged in. Lifting up this first lid, you're going to see that there is a waste thing in the back, and this is where the urine goes. I myself use a funnel to pee in because sometimes the urine goes in the back and it is not recommended to have any liquids back there. So I decided to get a funnel. Uh, before I was using the funnel, I was using paper plates to divert my urine into that little hole. No man has ever used this composting toilet yet, but I imagine that I'm going to have to tell them they're going to have to sit down because I've read other reviews of composting toilets where they say basically the man just should sit down. The urine will go down there because if a man stands up here and, and aims here, anywhere right here, it's going to splash all in here and you don't want uh, liquid moisture wetness back there. When you sit down, this opens. Like I said, everything is blocked and you can't see anything. That opens when you sit on it and it's actually, there's a button that you push down. Um, so that when you sit on it, that's how it opens. Then your waste goes back there and you go in a bucket, basically. Your waste paper tissue or whatever can go back there, but I usually put my urine tissue in the basket that I keep here. But I moved it right now for the video purposes. I'm gonna lift up that and here's one thing that you wanna do. You're gonna want to take some tissue now, urine, like I was saying, goes down there. So when you go to clean this, as you lift this, as you can see right there, that um, 
goes down another hole right there. So the urine is actually going to possibly fall out of there. What you want to do is uh, take a tissue and do that. A little more of an explanation on what we've got going on here. This is where the urine goes through. This is the waste thing so that when you push on that button, that's what opens that. Then here's the vent. You can see that it's plugged in right there. And then it actually goes underneath a space in the toilet and then is able to be plugged in. And you, I don't know if you can hear it. But that's running all the time. And in my maintenance video, I clean this uh, little thing. Actually, I, I clean it, but I um, just tell you that I did. But that gets cleaned once a month as well. Then you have the urine diverter down there, and then your bucket with the bag in it. Let's do this. So, I decided to put it in a black bag. I have bags under here already, and like I said, I was using the white bags, but for the purpose of this video, I used the black bag. So all you have to do is gather it up, lift it out, set it on the floor, nothing in that bag, it's all ready to go. And basically I'm just going to tie this bag in a knot. I always like to put it in another bag, so I'm going to get, um, I'm going to put this back in here for a moment, and I'm going to get another bag. So I'm just going to lift this again, put this in here. And then basically this just goes in your regular garbage or wherever you're going to decide to put it. There's my bag of waste. Sorry to be so gross. I don't know. Then what you want to do after that is you take these two things, hold on to the side of the toilet, lift them both up, and then this whole thing comes down. That's pretty cool. That is how you change the separate toilet. How fun was that? Basically, this is a very short video to show you just how easy it is to change a separate composting toilet. I would recommend it any day of the week. It's super easy, super simple, and if you're not ready to do the whole composting of your waste in like dirt or under the ground or in a composting bucket somewhere, then I would say the separate composting toilet is the way to go. Like I said again, I did it. I do it once a month so that it's, it's easier for me to keep track if I do it once a month. So everything, all my maintenance is done on the first of the month. Everything's changed on the first of the month. It's just much easier for me to remember to do it on the first of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like my channel and my videos, please subscribe below and I will see you all in the next video.